Good morning, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend, and we've got to run out the door because Little Man has basketball and time to go by. <laughs> Great job out there, buddy. You scored lots of points. And you were really defending well. You have fun. That's how we won. Yeah, that's awesome. It was, well, it says zero to zero, but it was like 18 to eight or something. No, it was 16 to eight. Well, that was fun. Did you have fun in there, buddy? Did you kick some butt in there? Yeah. Yeah. He tried super hard. He was guarding his man the whole time. He was making good shots. I good job. Made a three he almost made a three-pointer. There was a little boy in there who was able to shoot from that far away, and he was doing really long shots. It was from the other team. Anyway, let's get him home. We'll get him cleaned up. Lots more to do today. He's hugging the snowman. Hugging the snowman. We found the elf. Duncan found the elf. Should I go say hi to him? Hello, elf. Don't touch him. And he's already decided. We just got home, and he's super sweaty, but it's super advent time, apparently. Woo, let's advent it up. Another one. Yeah. What's it called? Flats. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley. There we go, Stanley. What's Fla it say? Flat Stanley? Right, what's the rest of it say? There's more words. So and tell Flat Stanley. <laughs> yep, good job. Flat Stanky. Flat Stanky. <laughs> That's what you are. Stanky. In other news, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I or I think I guess I mentioned it in the Geek Fuel video, I emailed Geek Fuel again just to, to check on the status of the PS4 grand prize box that I won. Because I hadn't heard anything from them since, uh, it's been since November 25th or so. I basically just emailed them and said, hey, what's, what's going on, guys? And late, late last night, I got an email from USPS saying that a package had departed from, well, from the same area that Geek Fuel is in, and that it's on the way here. So there's another package from Geek Fuel coming, and it didn't say anything about how big it was. And given the time it's going to take to get here, I can only assume that it is that box, hopefully. The facepalm is strong. Ended up getting into a back and forth with somebody on Twitter about the drone privacy thing. I, d I don't even know if I mentioned it in the video last night or not. I probably didn't. But there was an article that came out on Forbes. Finn shared it with me over on Twitter, basically saying that when you register for this new drone list here in two days now, it's a public facing list. It's not something that's immediately going to be public searchable, but they're also working to implement a way for people to be able to take those numbers that you're gonna put on your drone and search it publicly, which I don't think is a cool thing. As a person who's gonna be flying drones, a person that's gonna be registering for this, and the reason that I say that is, even if I don't make my number a public thing, if I don't make it, you know, if I don't include it in videos and things like that, I make it makes sense for someone to be able to take that number and find out how to get in touch with the owner. It does not make sense for you to be able to take that number or, or take a randomly generated number and find that person's home address. Because at that point, what stops you from taking a random number generator or a, a, an automated just number generator and dumping the entire database and making it all publicly available? The one really obvious response that I've seen from people is, if you own your own home, it's already public information anyway, so what's the difference? Well, the difference is having one more point of entry. You know, it's the same thing as if you have your phone number in the phone book. There's no phone books anymore. If you have it in the online phone books, you are still publicly searchable. But why give one more venue, one, one more means to find somebody? Why are why pay to be put into a list that's going to be publicly available? I'm not happy about that. And the argument I was having with the person, he was basically saying, you know, you're, you're, it's not a necessary item. You're paying to play. I said, yeah, that's sort of true. It's not a necessary item. But at the same point, and I don't want to get into a big argument about this, so I'm sorry in advance. Guns are not a 100% necessity. You do not have to own a gun. Yet there are no public-facing gun registries. His argument is, oh, but it's privacy. If someone violates my privacy with a camera, I need to be able to find out who that person is. Right, but if someone violates my family with a gun, shouldn't I be able to find out who that person is? I don't want to go any farther than that. That's going to spark an absolute war, and I'm sorry. Realistically, my whole thing here is just, I make videos on the internet, I make videos about quadcopters and drones, and realistically, I would rather not have people find out exactly where I live. It's happened in the past, and it has been a problem, and I don't want it to be a problem again don't want to have to move. It's bad enough that home address information is a publicly known thing if you own your own home. 
anyway, I'm gonna move on. I've got comments rolling in now. And you know what? Let's move things in a slightly more positive direction. Might as well use this little bit of a platform that I have here for something positive and to help some of you guys out as well. So I thought every now and again, maybe even once a day, if it comes up, I'm gonna see if I can make sure to mention somebody in the comments. I mentioned on Loki the other day, I probably said that wrong, sorry, his Flickr account and how you should go check that out. He did post it in the comments. I just noticed six hours ago, Jacko from Hunted's RC posted some stuff about his channel and how he's working hard to start a YouTube channel and he's having fun doing it. And basically that I had inspired him to start his channel. And I've seen some of his videos and he does some good work. He's got some good video quality. He's definitely trying and he has 33 subscribers and it's super duper hard to get started out here. So if you guys are interested, I will put a link to his channel down in the video description. Jacko, good luck, keep making the videos, keep trying, just keep having fun doing it, that's the biggest thing. And if there are any others of you out there that please don't spam, but if there are any of you out there that are interested in seeing your channel featured here or talking about your channel or anything, make sure to mention it in the comments. I will go take a look at it. There are a bunch of other people who have, have made great videos out there that are not being seen, so it might as well, I might as well mention some of them to you guys as well, right? We're a little community here, so we might as well support each other. And it is about that time for sandwiches. I'm still wearing my shirt. Yeah, you are. And we gotta change you into a Star Wars shirt because we're gonna go... To Star Wars! Seven. Yep. Oh, hey, we are on the road again because it's that time we're gonna go and see the new Star Wars film. Duncan, are you ready? Yeah. Totally ready. Yep. Sat around doing some work around the house, doing, you know, video stuff, and they were watching soccer and suddenly realized, oh, wait, it's time. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go do this. Dude, we made it, and I'm going to go ahead and get everything shut down. We'll see you after the movie. We've got our big recliners. You ready, buddy? See how it's massive, massive, icy. Yeah. I shut everything down. We'll see you in a bit. Well, that was definitely a movie. Instant movie review, what'd you think? That was good. What'd you think? Yay. There's a movie. Yeah, what did you think? Movie. Thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. I'd see it again. Would you see it again? Not in the theater. Not in the theater. I'll probably watch it again. I probably would. We are now at a place called Saltgood. And somebody's making faces and being derpy. So I think we're all actually eating breakfast here. And they have a ridiculous breakfast here. I mean, big old bells and waffles and bacon and eggs and potatoes and oh, awesome. delicious. Yes. Are you ready for waffles? He's ready for a nap. Okay, this looks amazing. It's not all waffles, just a little part of one. And some potatoes and eggs. And she got the exact same thing, copy and me. And Duncan, he got some waffle too. Super hot. Yep. Time to dig in. Well, I think I did an all right job. And you're still sort of working on it. Duncan even did a pretty good job eating. You guys say Duncan doesn't eat very much. He just destroyed most of that waffle. And he's singing Christmas carols now. And she's gonna attack his fruit. That's actually so good. The place where it has one of the best fruit bowls ever. The bananas are awesome. Well, skipping ahead to much later in the evening. It's, uh, it's already eight o'clock. We got home from uh, the movie. We got up from dinner and everything. Christina had to run back out to her office. There was something that went wrong with something that she does for her job. So she had to run back out there and try to take care of it, which sucks for a nine month pregnant lady. Duncan is keeping himself occupied, doubly entertaining himself by watching stuff on TV, as well as stuff on the tab on the laptop. He's watching Nickelodeon as well as Nick.com at the same time. He was, just a second ago, he was watching a cartoon on the laptop while watching some sort of a live action special on Nick. I don't know. And I'm gonna work on laundry, and walk on the treadmill, and work on video stuff, and lots of stuff to do. I'm also, uh, I hadn't mentioned this earlier, I'm getting my backpack ready, because I came to the super smart realization that here in just a short amount of time, we're gonna be in the hospital, potentially for a couple of days, with baby time coming. So I need to get my laptop super duper ready for travel mode again, meaning since I've migrated to Adobe Premiere, Premiere Elements, I need to make sure that it's on there, that it's set up right, that it's got the right keyboard shortcuts and everything. It does have the software for the Shuttle Pro. I've used that on there multiple times, but I need to make sure it has the right profile on it, which I did earlier. I think there are still a couple of keystrokes that I need to put. They're not really that big of a deal, like copy paste type things. I can do that later. So I'm getting that ready to go, making sure I have all the chargers and batteries and wires and just everything that I'm gonna need in my tech bag. I'm also gonna take a few minutes and put together a bag for just being at the hospital. So like a change of clothes and toiletries and underwear things like that. So that while Christina's in the hospital there, I can be there with her and I don't have to leave for an extended period of time, but family is gonna be here as well. So at the very least, I'll be able to be there for one solid day and then I can come home, get changed, get new clothes, get whatever else I need. And I'll have my entire mobile editing solution there with me. And I'm 
when actually, and I've already said this before, I'm gonna make sure to reiterate, when it does come to being in the hospital and baby time, this, the, uh, the using this vlogging camera is probably gonna go by the wayside for a few days in favor of using the RX100. Really wish now, really wish that I would have held on to the RX100 Mark III simply because much, much wider angle and being able to hold it super close with a flip out screen would be a nice thing to have right now. It's just the one I got from Amazon Warehouse Deals was in rough shape and I didn't really want to, want to have paid that much for it knowing it was in that rough shape. But it's too late now. I, I can't really get one here before, yeah. And I'm not paying $800 to get one. Anyway, I've gotta do the laundry. I'm folding towels so that we will have clean towels, fresh towels. Well, the evening is actually wrapped up pretty uneventfully. Got Duncan through the shower and into bed, read him a story and everything. Christina made it home from work before that, of course, and she's already headed off to bed. I'm just sitting here continuing to work on video stuff and kind of spending a little time by myself, you know, catching up on some Captain Sparkle stuff and testing out different things on different phones and just sort of anything and everything as it comes along. It might take just a few minutes to try to finish up a video or two tonight. I've actually been enjoying getting videos up on the regular, on the main channel. I don't know, it's just gonna sort of depend. But I am gonna go ahead and wrap things up I don't want to sit here and just flap at you for the rest of the evening because I would definitely do that and you guys know it. There's plenty of time for that tomorrow and the next day and the next day and next year and forever. But as always, thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and my family. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for just hanging out with us. We definitely appreciate it and we had a great day and I hope you did as well. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.